All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to retrieve this shrimp jig. This is the power prong we just came out with. These are awesome lures, and they're, they're, they're great for fishing docks. So I have this rigged on a half ounce jig head. We have, we're fishing the deep sections of these docks. And so I'll talk about the retrieve, and I'll show you the proper retrieve to use when, uh, when using these lures to, to catch fish, particularly when fishing these, uh, these deeper docks. This is awesome. This, uh, this has been blowing me away with how effective it is. And the key is to let that shrimp basically do its little dance on the bottom and it hit the bottom because this, this stuff floats and so it hits the bottom, that little dust, that little plume of dust will come up and then, this, and then you pop it again and it'll do it all over again and, and the fish, it drives the fish crazy. So that's the goal. That's what we want to do. All right, so for these lures, just cast up there. I like to, I like to fish the up current side of the docks. That way you can cast and just let the, the current take it back. But the key is to let it fall down to the bottom and then just do just, just smooth little jigs like this. Pop it up and change the, you know, do some a little bit sharper. Sometimes they like it when you're really jerking it through there. Uh, some days they like it a little bit softer. Today we're fishing a, uh, a cold front. So just after cold front came in, these fish are going to be lethargic. So more likely than not, they, they're going to want it a little bit slower. And so what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm just bouncing this jig. Oh, just had something. I'm just bouncing this jig all the way back to, uh, until it gets to me. So we'll get another cast on this side of the dock. And again, cast it, let it fall to the bottom. Most of the strike turn happened on the bottom. So this is the ultimate lure for getting down there right in their face and, uh, and getting strikes. So I'm just, I'm basically, oh, there we are. I was basically just swimming it down. And uh, not a giant fish, but we've got a grouper. And that was just perfect textbook, right? I was doing the jig and on the way down, I was feeling for strikes. Yeah, and the fact this is an exposed hook means that we don't, you know, we don't have to, uh, to jerk super hard. We just really, as soon as that line's tied, you feel that thump, you know, just give it a, a nice little firm, uh, firm pull and it's gonna set the hook and it'll be fish on. In many cases, when you catch one, there's more. So I'm casting right back to it, getting down there. And then we're just gonna, again, doing that slow bounce. And what I'm feeling for is very important to have a sensitive rod because I can actually feel when I'm doing this pull, I can feel it actually hit the bottom. That's again, a benefit of, of using these heavier weights too. So I'm actually waiting to feel it hit the bottom. And then I, then I go down and pull up again, right? Feel the bottom, pull up again. And it's because what it's doing, I'm casting up in about four feet of water and then it's about 10 feet where I am now. So we're just, we're just going down that slope and there's gonna be all kinds of species that, that live there and feed there. Particularly after these cold fronts where they shift off the shallows, um, this is the perfect situation to, uh, to go out and catch a lot of fish. And so again, just, just keep doing this method. And generally when something's hitting it, the rest of them will. So I'm gonna keep that same tempo for, for at least another, another few minutes. Oh, we just had, there we are, got another one. This feels like another grouper. Let's see what it is. Yep, another grouper, a little bit bigger. But yeah, this, when grouper are hitting, the snook will be hitting the same thing. Same, same with redfish. Whatever's down there, they're, they're going to be feeding on that same type of situation. Fun little guy. Let him get bigger. And again, same thing. Just caught one. There's probably more. A lot of times in this cold, they're going to be bunched together. And it won't always be just grouper. A lot of times snook will be in there too. We get one cast snook, next cast grouper, next cast redfish. That's the whole, whole beauty of saltwater fish. You never know what it's gonna be next. And, uh, and again, just, just make sure to be mindful on feeling that bottom, feeling, feeling it hit. And, uh, and it is shocking how good this lure can be as long as you do it right. As we said before, as you saw, in the rigging videos, rigging is, is crucial. It has to be rigged right. And when you have it all, all working properly, it is spectacular. And so we're just gonna, again, just keep doing this. Oh, there we are, got another one. Oh, I just got off. Uh, but and it, when fish get off, if, especially if it's a trout, uh, they'll almost always hit it again. So I just let it go right back down and just go right back down to the, to the uh, steady cadence on the retrieve. And we'll do one last cast. Oh, see, one thing to, to mention is every once in a while, you'll get it pulled down a little bit. And so all you have to do is just, is just push it back forward. This, uh, this material is super tacky. So that as soon as you pull it forward, right, it's up there. It's not gonna go down. It took a, a pretty good amount of force to knock that down. 
So make sure that it's, again, make sure that's rigged properly and then just do it all over again. And so we'll just, again, hopefully you can see that rod tip, that full rod tip in there, but I'm, I'm just holding it up. You can feel so much better when that rod tip is up. Feeling for these strikes. But, uh, but yeah, that's it for now. Just wanted to share that, that tip. Um, and this is just part of the, the series on how to just maximize results when using these lures. We're gonna have multiple situations and, and how to rig it, how to retrieve it to maximize your odds. And so for everybody who does buy these, we're gonna send that out. So if you haven't yet picked these up, make sure to do so. They're on our, they're on our tackle store at fishstrong.com uh, and they're excellent. We're gonna give you everything you need to rig it. Most importantly, everything you need to use it. The education behind when to use it, when not to use it, and then exactly how to rig it and do all of the things essential to maximize your results. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the online fishing club that guarantees you'll be catching more fish while saving money on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.